Climate change is kind of like a clingy ex. We may try to get away from it as much as possible, but it's not going anywhere. It can be unexpected, hitting us with extreme rainfall we weren't prepared for, or forest fires that burn too bright. So how can we protect ourselves from a forest that seems so unpredictable? Well, one thing that you can do is get yourself a go bag. I like to call mine a bug out bag. These are bags that you grab in any emergency, like if there's a flood warning, if there's a fire warning, or just any warning at all. It's important to stay ready out here in these streets. So what should you have in your go bag? Well, one is a change of clothes. You don't know how long you could be away from home, so grab some PJs and comfortable clothes. Be sure to grab sweaters or a jacket if it gets cold where you are. Also, it would be good to grab a change of shoes or any other supplies that you need daily. For example, toothpaste, a toothbrush, body soap, and lotion are bare necessities. Keep in mind that when you are packing clothing, look in your closet for the clothes that you haven't worn in ages. You barely remember this outfit, but you don't want to throw it away? Mm. Put it in the bug out bag. Next, you want to pack things that are specific to your area. For example, Californians will want to pack some N95 masks and a flashlight in case the fires knock the power out. If you are constantly plagued by floods, you should grab a raincoat. There are many things that can go in the emergency bag, but they are really specific to you. When looking for an emergency bag, sometimes thrift stores can have duffel bags for cheap, and you could fit a lot of things in one of those. In the end, it's better to be prepared than not, so be sure to make your bug out bag as helpful as possible. Happy packing!